Avidya Sanskrit, Pali, Avidya, Tibetan phonetic, Ma Rigpa in Buddhist literature is commonly translated as ignorance. The concept refers to ignorance or misconceptions about the nature of metaphysical reality, in particular about the impermanence and non-self doctrines about reality. It is the root cause of dukkha, suffering, pain, unsatisfactoriness, and asserted as the first link in Buddhist phenomenology of a process that leads to repeated birth. Avidya is mentioned within the Buddhist teachings as ignorance or misunderstanding in various contexts. Four noble truths. The first link in the twelve links of dependent origination. One of the three poisons within the Mahayana Buddhist tradition. One of the six root kleshas within the Mahayana Abhidharma teachings. One of the ten fetters in the Theravada tradition, equivalent to MOHA within the Theravada Abhidharma teachings. Within the context of the twelve links of dependent origination, avidya is typically symbolized by a person who is blind or wearing a blindfold. Topic <inaudible> etymology. <inaudible> avidya is a Vedic Sanskrit word and is a compound of a and vidya, meaning not vidya. The word vidya is derived from the Sanskrit root vid, which means, to know, to perceive, to see, to understand. Therefore, avidya means to, not know. The vid asterisk related terms appear extensively in the Rigveda and other Vedas. In Vedic literature, avidya refers to, ignorance, spiritual ignorance, illusion. In early Buddhist texts, states Monier Williams, it means, ignorance with non existence. The word is derived from the Proto-Indo-European root asterisk weed, meaning to see or to know. It is a cognate with the Latin verb vidir, to see, and English wit. <inaudible> Overview Avidya is explained in different ways or on different levels within different Buddhist teachings or traditions. On the most fundamental level, it is ignorance or misunderstanding of the nature of reality, more specifically about the nature of not-self and dependent origination doctrines. Avidya is not lack of information, states Peter Harvey, but a more deep-seated misperception of reality. Gethin calls avidya as positive misconception, not mere absence of knowledge. It is a key concept in Buddhism, wherein avidya about the nature of reality, rather than sin, is considered the basic root of dukkha. Removal of this avidya leads to overcoming of dukkha, while avidya found in Buddhism and other Indian philosophies is often translated as ignorance, states Alex Wayman. This is a mistranslation because it means more than ignorance. He suggests the term unwisdom to be a better rendition. The term includes not only ignorance out of darkness, but also obscuration, misconceptions, mistaking illusion to be reality or impermanent to be permanent or suffering to be bliss or non-self to be self-delusions. Incorrect knowledge is another form of avidya, states Wayman. In other contexts, avidya includes not knowing or not understanding the nature of phenomena as impermanent, the Four Noble Truths, other Buddhist doctrines, or the path to end suffering. Sanam Rinchen states avidya in the context of the Twelve Links, that ignorance is the opposite of the understanding that the person or other phenomena lack intrinsic existence. Those who are affected by this ignorance create actions which precipitate them into further worldly existence. Not understanding the Four Noble Truths, or its implications, is also avidya. <laughs> avidya in Buddhist traditions Avidya appears as a major item of discussion in two doctrines about the nature of reality, in various Buddhist traditions. One relates to the anatta anatman doctrine, that is ignorance or misconceptions about self, when in reality there is only non-self according to Buddhism. The second relates to anicca doctrine, that is ignorance or misconceptions about permanence, when the nature of reality is impermanence. Topic. Theravada. Bhikkhu Bodhi states that avidya is an important part of the Theravada Abhidharma teachings about dependent arising about conditions that sustain the wheel of birth and death. One such condition is the karmic formations that arise from ignorance. In other words, states Bodhi, ignorance avidya obscures perception of the true nature of things just as a cataract obscures perception of visible objects. In the Suttanta literature, this ignorance refers to the non-knowledge of the Four Noble Truths. 
In the Abhidharma literature, in addition to the Four Noble Truths, it is the non-knowledge of one's past pre-natal lives and post-mortem future lives and of dependent arising. Mahayana <inaudible> 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 The Mahayana tradition considers ignorance about the nature of reality and immemorial past lives to be a primordial force, which can only be broken through the insight of emptiness sunyata. However, compared to other Buddhist traditions, states Jens Brarvig, avidya is not so much emphasized, instead the emphasis on "...construing an illusory reality," based on conceptualization when the ultimate reality is emptiness, avidya is the greatest impurity and the primary cause of suffering, rebirth. The insight into emptiness, state Garfield and Edelglass, that is the lack of inherent nature of all phenomena, including the self, cuts the impurities. An insight into emptiness yields full awakening. Vajrayana The Vajrayana tradition considers ignorance as fetters of bondage into samsara, and its teachings have focused on a tantric path under the guidance of a teacher, to remove avidya and achieve liberation in a single lifetime. Avidya is identified as the first of the twelve links of dependent origination, twelve nidanas a sequence of links that describe why a being reincarnates and remains bound within the samsara, a cycle of repeated births and deaths in six realms of existence. The twelve nidanas are an application of the Buddhist concept of pratitasamutpada dependent origination. This theory, presented in Samyutta Nikaya 2.2-4 and Diga Nikaya 2.55-63, asserts that rebirth, re-aging and re-death ultimately arise through a series of twelve links or nidanas ultimately rooted in avidya, and the twelfth step Jaramarana triggers the dependent origination of avidya, recreating an unending cycle of dukkha suffering, pain, unsatisfactoriness. Topic. Removing avidya Avidya or ignorance can be eliminated directly by cultivating its opposite viz. Knowledge, wisdom and perception, where the above refer to the true knowledge and perception of reality. The various ways to remove avidya is by learning from guru, teacher who knows or from books and scriptures. Also avidya can be removed through meditation or more precisely practice of dhyana and yoga. Through practice of dharma and righteousness avidya gets removed. Unrighteous karma increases ignorance while ignorance perpetuates a dharma. See also Avidya Hinduism. Kleshas Buddhism. Maya illusion. Mental factors Buddhism. Tana for a complementary root of suffering in Buddhism. Three poisons, Buddhism. Twelve nidanas. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. Sources. Robert Buswell, Donald Lopez, 2013, Princeton Dictionary of Buddhism, Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press, ISBN 9780691157381. Kahn's, Edward, Buddhist Thought in India, Three Phases of Buddhist Philosophy, Routledge, ISBN 978-1-134-54231-4. Edelglass, William, et al., 2009, Buddhist Philosophy, Essential Readings, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-532817-2 Gethin, Rupert Foundations of Buddhism, Oxford University Press Harvey, Peter An Introduction to Buddhism, Cambridge University Press Peter Harvey, 2013, The Selfless Mind, Personality, Consciousness and Nirvana in Early Buddhism, Routledge, ISBN 978-1-136-78329-6 Keown, Damien Buddhism, A Very Short Introduction. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-966383-5. Trainer, Kevin 2004, Buddhism, The Illustrated Guide, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-517398-7 
Williams, Paul, Tribe, Anthony 2000, Buddhist Thought, A Complete Introduction to the Indian Tradition, Routledge, ISBN 0-415207010, Ajahn Susito 2010. Turning the Wheel of Truth, Commentary on the Buddha's First Teaching. Shambhala. Bhikkhu Bodhi 2003, A Comprehensive Manual of Abhidhamma, Pariyati Publishing Chogyam Trungpa 1972. Karma and Rebirth, The Twelve Nidanas, by Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche. Karma and the Twelve Nidanas, a sourcebook for the Shambhala School of Buddhist Studies. Varadhatu Publications. Dalai Lama 1992. The Meaning of Life, translated and edited by Jeffrey Hopkins, Boston, Wisdom. Mingyur Rinpoche 2007. The Joy of Living, Unlocking the Secret and Science of Happiness. Harmony. Kindle Edition. Sanam Rinchen 2006. How Karma Works, The Twelve Links of Dependent Arising, Snow Lion. Topic. Further reading. Avidya and Asava, Surendranath Dasgupta, 1940 Daniel Goleman, Vital Lies, Simple Truths, The Psychology of Self-Deception, 1985, Bloomsbury Publishing. ISBN 978-0-7475-3413-6 Avidya Sutta translated from the Pali by Thanissaro Bhikkhu. 